Welcome to Webstylebus. Google Docs is an excellent platform for writing articles and content due to its numerous features, accessibility, and collaborative nature. It provides real-time collaboration, cloud storage, version history, lots of sharing options, integration with other services, add-ons and extensions, offline access, formatting options, auto-save and recovery features, and it's free to use. Many content writers use Google Docs. If you are a writer, blogger, or content creator, you can bring the power of AI into Google Docs. You can use ChatGPT inside Google Docs and become 100x more productive. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, let's say using Google Docs, I want to write an article on how to earn money online using guest posting. Now I can start writing, but why not take some inspiration from AI, from ChatGPT? To do that, we will have to add ChatGPT inside Google Docs. From top menu, click extensions. From add-ons, click get add-ons. In search, type ChatGPT and select ChatGPT plus Google Docs. We want this GPT for Google Sheets and Docs. This extension has got a lot of installs and it works for both Google Sheets and Docs. So click Edit. Click Install. It says GPT for Sheets and Docs needs your permission in order to start installing. So click Continue and give it permissions. Select your account. It will allow GPT for Sheets to view and manage documents, view and manage spreadsheets, connect to an external service, display and run third-party web content in prompts and sidebars inside Google applications. Click Allow. Click Next. Click Done. Close it. Go back to Extensions. Now we have this new option, GPT for Sheets and Docs. From this menu, select Set API Key. Here we will need to enter our API key provided by OpenAI. ChatGPT is from OpenAI. So we will get the API key from OpenAI. Go to platform.openai.com. Sign up if you don't have account. If you have account, you can sign in. From top right corner, Click Profile icon. Select View API Keys. Now I will generate a new secret key or API key. To do that, click Create New Secret Key. This is our newly generated API key. Copy this key by clicking this button. Press OK. Go back to Google Docs. Paste the API key here and click this button that says Check. It says your OpenAI API key is valid. Click Save API key. After you save API key, go to Extensions again from GPT for Sheets and Docs. Select Launch Sidebar. From this sidebar, you can write prompts for GPT and control other aspects of your communication with OpenAI or ChatGPT. From this drop-down, you can select actions, for example, write custom prompt, translate to, summarize, fix grammar and spellings, change the tone to. Here you can write the prompts. This selection will use document as context. We have insert settings, insert add cursor below selection. We can insert prompt in document as well. We have open AI settings. Here you can describe how AI should behave. For example, should it behave as a content creator, as a helpful assistant, as a software engineer? You can choose anything or anybody. From here, you can select the model, GPT 3.5, DaVinci, GPT 4, and more. To use GPT 4 model, you should have a subscription plan in your OpenAI account to use API calls. We will use GPT 3.5 Turbo for now. We can adjust temperature, we can adjust max response tokens, and more. A higher temperature, such as 1, leads to more random and creative responses. 
while a lower temperature such as 0.2 or 0.5 generates more focused and deterministic response. Max response tokens determines the maximum number of tokens in the generated response. By setting a limit, you can control the length of the output. Tokens are like words. More tokens will result in more words in generated response. So adjust these parameters to get the best output for your content. Let's go to prompt area. Provide it this question as prompt. Place our cursor below this text or title and click submit. And here is the response from OpenAI. You can adjust this response according to your need. Identify authority websites, pitch an article, negotiate payment, write and submit your article, promote your article, steps involved to earn money online using guest posting, one article. You can create as much articles on any subject as you like. Also have a look at this. I will select all of it and we'll go here. I will select translate to, let's say Spanish, submit. And here is the text translated in Spanish. So type your prompt and click submit. GPT or OpenAI will provide the response in this document. This is simple and straightforward. From actions, we can change the tone. We can fix grammar and spellings, but for grammar and spellings, Google Docs is fine. We can summarize anything. We can translate content into any language. Translation is another great option right inside Google Docs. So this is also useful. And this is how you can bring the power of AI into Google Docs and use ChatGPT or GPT or OpenAI inside Google Docs. It will accelerate your content generation powers like nothing else. If you want to enable ChatGPT for Google Sheets, you can follow similar pattern. Enable the extension for Google Sheets, provide API key, then you can select a cell and get response from ChatGPT in that cell. Overall, I like this extension because it helps me generate articles in my favorite program. I can also translate these articles into multiple languages in few clicks. By using this extension, Google Docs become a content powerhouse. So try out this extension. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.